Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, a new brewery, at least to me. Yeah, I never heard of this. It's the Humble Forger Brewing Company. They're located in Wanake, Wisconsin, and this is the Pin Seeker Pilsner. Checks in at 4.2% alcohol by volume. And the date stamp on the bottom of the can says we have another four months before we uh, should enjoy this. So I'm not sure if they're giving uh, this six, eight, nine months lead time. I don't know. Generally speaking, and then real generally speaking, a Pilsner style beer can last a year or longer if properly cared for. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's kept in a uh, cool, dry place, preferably in the fridge. And what I did here is I got my bowl to open this just in case it would overflow. I always put a bowl right there like that. And so if it overflows, it goes in the bowl instead of everywhere in here. <laughs> yeah. Use this glassware here that I just washed and rinsed. So I use this glassware to concentrate the foam into a nice tight area. And you'll see here when I show you. That way you can get all the aromas that the brewer intended. Because generally speaking on a Pilsner, if you use a real wide uh, moth glass, it's going to disperse the aromas over a wide area. And you may not pick up anything at all. With this type of glassware, it's going to concentrate it. And you'll definitely get whatever's in there. Now, this is a uh, pretty clear pour. That's a chill haze on the glass. I served it rather cold. It's got some uh, light carbonation flowing up from the bottom, beautiful golden color. No, oh, that smells quite lovely. It's got a floral bouquet, and it. it smells like a little bit of spiciness, but it's not prevalent. It's not right up front. It's in the distance. We'll know when we taste it. Uh, cheers to the brewers there in Wanake, Wisconsin, for all the hard work they put into brewing this batch of beer. And cheers to you at home. Wow. Yeah, that is it. Woo. Yeah, I get a little bit of spiciness in the aroma, but it is really spicy when you drink it. I like this beer. I just happened to spot this at my local supermarket, which is, for lack of a better word, upscale. I really don't like that word. It, it just has so many implications to it. Like, uh, yeah, you know what, if you don't have a lot of money, you can't shop here. We don't want your business, so on and so forth. Because I tell you what, man, in that store, you hardly ever see anything on sale. Yeah, and when you do, it's not anything anybody wants. That's why it's on sale. <laughs> yeah, but an upscale grocery store where they have a uh, selection of boutique beers. And this was the last can, and I just happened to see it was $2.29. Yeah. Um, so for what, a six-pack, what would that be? Twelve and a dollar twenty, thirteen something, thirteen thirty for the six-pack, which is um it's getting up there for a six-pack of a craft beer. But man, this is really tasty. I like this beer. I like this beer. It's got uh, a lovely, lovely finish here. Nice. A dry, slightly bitter finish. And look at that. Man, just look at the presentation. But it's got a lot to do with this glassware. If I had poured this into a regular pint glass, it wouldn't look nearly as nice. I can tell you that. Yeah, pint glass is a, a utility glass. And what I mean by that, you know, you go to a bar, get a pint of beer. There you go, right? But if you go to a bar who really cares about the beer that they serve and the people who drink the beer, they use specialized glassware like this one right here. Maybe a little bit bigger than this. This only holds uh, 10 ounces, so they might use a bigger glass than this, but 
it all depends on the shape of the glass and how it's contoured and everything like that. Yeah, to make your beer drinking experience top notch. But back to this beer. Mm. It's got a nice malt backbone in there, but that is quickly taken over by the spiciness in here. Don't know if these are sauce hops, but it's some type of spicy hop and cheers to that. Mm, man, that is pretty tasty. I would describe this as a light body beer with light to medium mouthfeel. And I would also describe it as light to medium carbonation. Man, this is really, I'm going to have to go back to the store and see if they have any more of these. Mm, be my luck, they don't have any more. The Humble Forager out of Wanakee, Wisconsin, Pin Seeker Pilsner. Pin Seeker. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. Something to do with golf because they got a golf, golf course there? Pin. See, I'm not a golfer, so I don't know. Does that mean something in golf language? I don't know. We got a little story on the back here. Not much there to see. But, yeah, it's a really good beer. I tell you, man, if you get a chance to try this out, if you like Pilsner-style beers, this would be a good summertime uh, quencher, no doubt. All right, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy and enjoy new beers like this one right here. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best goodbyes and as always, cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. 
Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.